Marines stage a scene that has become more frequent for U.S. forces in Afghanistan. The mock protesters are harmlessly dispersed with a high-tech device. It is called the active denial system. Using an electromagnetic beam that travels hundreds of meters, it heats people's skin enough to trigger their instincts to flee. In development for over a decade, the device is not new, but it remains shrouded in mystery. Colonel Tracy Tafala heads the U.S. Marines Joint Non-Lethal Weapons Directorate. Unlike uh, conventional munitions or conventional weapons, uh, where you can hold the munition, you, there's a bang, uh, there's something to see, uh, that, that's not true here. Uh, you, you can't see it, uh, you can't hear it, you can't smell it. Developers say 11,000 tests show it is safe with no known lasting effects. It causes a quick sensation of a hot blast, like opening the door of a hot oven. Officials in Los Angeles considered a smaller device two years ago as a way to break up jail fights. Bob Osborne, a commander at the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, says it was never used. I don't know if it was because of public pressure or, you know, something within the Department of Justice. We were never privy as to the exact reason why the program was stopped. Four years after it was introduced, the military has not used it either. Researchers say fear of the unknown is a big factor. Stephanie Miller is one of its developers and has tested it on herself many times. Understanding it very well, I say it's, it's not exotic, but, um, you know, people who don't understand about it feel that it's, it's um, you know, kind of mysterious. And I think that, um, you know, we've, we've not um, em embraced it um, because it's new. Recent riots in Afghanistan have brought the device to the forefront again. Joseph Trevithick is a defense analyst. Especially with the recent uh, Koran burning incidents, we see a need for dispersing crowds outside of U.S. facilities or outside of facilities where U.S. personnel are operating. And uh, these kind of non-lethal or less than lethal systems provide that capability by inviting journalists to watch, the military hopes to remove any mystery surrounding the active denial system. Is there an apprehension of, of employing this kind of technology? Uh, I, I would say uh, probably it's, it's something that's not well understood. Uh, we've got to make sure we do a good job of, of educating uh, our leadership and our armed forces on the technology. With millions of dollars spent on developing the technology and budget cuts expected soon, the pressure is on for U.S. forces to use the gun, or perhaps end the program. Luis Ramirez, VOA News, Marine Corps Base, Quantico, Virginia.